We'll realize later, and this is actually a theorem that we'll look at, and that's that the tri all the angles in a triangle add to 180. So if one angle is already 90 degrees, then the other two must be acute angles. And perhaps those angles are 30 degrees and 60 degrees. But as long as we have that solitary right angle, then our triangle is called a right triangle. We could also imagine that if we did for some reason have two right angles, then the two sides are parallel and will never intersect to form a triangle. It's impossible. Okay, hopefully you have those two down, because now we'll look at the other two. If we have a triangle, that has an obtuse angle. So maybe this angle here is 10 degrees. We'll say that this angle is 20 degrees. And so this angle is going to be 150 degrees. If we have just one angle that is greater than 90 degrees, then we have an obtuse triangle. I want you to take a moment and think about it if it's possible to have a triangle that has two obtuse angles. So think about that for a moment. Pause the video if you want to and then restart it. Hopefully you realize that if we did have two obtuse angles, so we had two angles that were greater than 90 degrees, then when we add up the angles of the triangle, if A and B were our obtuse angles, then their measures together would have to be greater than 180 degrees, which doesn't work since a triangle, all three angles have to equal 180 degrees. Sorry, that should be a greater than symbol. Okay, and lastly, if we have a triangle where all three angles are congruent, so we have angle D congruent to angle E congruent to angle F, this actually means that they're all 60 degrees. Then this triangle is called an equiangular tr triangle. And that's the last way to classify triangles based on angles. So we have three possible classifications based on sides, scalene, isosceles, and equilateral and four possible classifications based on angles, acute, right, obtuse, and equiangular. And do take a quick moment to notice that if a triangle is equiangular, it can also be classified as an acute triangle. But we like equiangular when it's possible because it's more specific. Okay, so go ahead, try example one, naming the classification. For each triangle, I want you to name the triangle, and you only have to give one of the six possible names, and then classify the triangle both based on sides, and then classify the triangle based on its angles. So here are the three triangles that you have. Take a moment, work through this problem. When you're ready, resume the videos.